Welcome to lesson four, chapter four, layer basics. I will do my best to keep this in two sections so you don't have to scrub through when you're watching the video. Um, again, layers like selections is a major foundational building block of understanding the power and the functionality of Photoshop. So a .psd is a file name. Um, is one of the only files, uh, I mean, Photoshop is the only program where you can open a PSD because it's a Photoshop uh, document. And that is where it, you can open a JPEG in Previewer or you can even open certain things. It's a PDF in um, Acrobat. You could drop it into Word. Um, as an art object. There's lots of functionality of images, but Photoshop's key thing and what you want to always save a version of, no matter how you output this, um, if you end up flattening it, which is getting rid of all the layers and compressing into a format like JPEG, you want to keep a file of all your original layers so that you can go in and edit them. You can do, um, if you open up here, you can see, oops, now I'm still on my tool from our um, selection lesson. Go back to home plate, your move tool. I'm trying to get you a view here so this isn't covering this menus. Um, so here we are with the pineapple. It's a bit of a cheat. Here's our start. Here's our end. So you see we're compositing, we're putting a border. Here's an opacity of the stamp. We're making it like a cute little postcard. Here's one flower with one hue saturation. It's a warmer hot pink. This is more of a purpley flower. This has an effect which is layered over this rotated photo, which is layered over the pineapple, which is layered over actually a created cloud. Um, I'll let you guys do that part of the lesson on your own. Um, those are pretty straightforward instructions, actually. So that's not even a paid-for photo or a texture background that is created inside Photoshop. Uh, we'll break this into part two, maybe for that, the, that section with the Hawaii and the text treatment. So layers, if you look over here, um, you can see... I just want to give you a little better view here because there's a lot going on. And again, that's the power of, of Photoshop is all the layers. So you have your border, which is a vignette. It's called a vignette where there's an opacity here showing from the edge, which is solid, through to an opacity. Then there's a text layer with an effects. And you can always go in and see what those effects are and adjust them later. Again, it's not permanent. You have a postage, which is at a 25% opacity. If you brought that back up, you wouldn't be able to see through it. It's just the opaqueness of it or not. And here we have some type, photo um, this is type handled with some effects. You have the flower with an effect, the beach photo, Again, there's a stroke making it look like a Polaroid. You have some changes to this image. Just sort through your layers and play around with them and you'll see what you've got going on and how this has been constructed. Look at that. There's a color correction on there to sort of give this all a matching um, look and feel. And that's an aesthetic choice. That's an artistic choice. And you see how it all sort of works together. You'll notice as I'm going through and sorting through these layers, if you turn, you can just scrub down and turn them all on and off. Just go back on. And there you have that. And one is a copy and one is not. You can just turn that back on. So that's finding our way around this image. And I'm going to stop and do another part.